Councillor Cordo. Thanks, Mayor. I had a question about the CPI increase. Is this a standard, um, a standard thing in all of our policies to try and account for CPI in this in this kind of way? Uh, through you, Mayor. I guess it's not really relevant in most of our policies, but I mean, the main driver in this one was we do have some fees that when this policy was developed back in 2018, you know, they were around a, a figure of $280, and then now, three years later, and looking forward, we, we're getting to cross that $300 threshold. So that, that was the reason it was... Um, looked at in relation to this policy, but I'm, I'm struggling to think of any other policies where a CPI would apply, but I mean common sense would say that where applicable, yes, we would apply it. Thank you, uh, Mr Smee, and uh, Mayor, I think that this is a fairly straightforward, um, fairly straightforward policy update, and as Councillor Street has alluded to, there's not very many significant changes. One policy, I guess, in contradistinction, uh, to this, where there is no CPI but probably should be, is the biodiversity offset policy. So currently the $500 trees are set at $500 and they're not going up. But this is an example, I think, Mayor, where CPI adjustments are really sensible. They make sense because it means that the policy can keep up in time. And so, of course, when we do turn our attention, Mayor, to the biodiversity offset policy, we must um, update that CPI adjustment as well. So I endorse this. Thanks very much, Mayor. Okay, thanks. The